Hello there, I'm Andrew Hill, and welcome back to St. Victoria 2, playing the Byzantine Empire, June 8th, 1909. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Hope you like my hair a little styled back this way. I just got done making some kimchi for an, uh, an article, but also for a cooking video that you'll be able to find on Aldra Cooks. Link is in the description to the channel. That video will go up in about a month when it's all done. <laughs> so we're here playing Byzantine, and we're currently trying to recruit as many soldiers as possible. I still have my little defensive line over here that I was kind of just beginning to get ready. Uh, it's, 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 it's a basic defensive line. It's not good, is it? Because I wonder if maybe we should maybe move here. Problem is we'd lose the mountain. No, no, no there's actually no mountains here. Obviously, there's that bloody grassland. Because if we were able to take that, we could get the gra we could get the hills. And we could cut everything off. Well, that might have been a better idea. Oh, well, we've got the mountains there. We're fine for now. We're waiting now until we can invade into Austria. They have no, they have a couple allies that don't matter. They will call in Moldavia, interestingly. Hmm. Hmm. So we'll have to beat them up quite handily. We've got lots and lots of stuff. Liberia has defaulted. Ooh. Liberia has defaulted. Well, they're in the sphere of... So no, no thank you. Can't, can't, can't do that. Um, we are still trying to get up in the Great Power Tract. It's going to take us a little while. Austrian submission is still, still raging on. I need to Kiva. No one cares. We're at 1887, and oh geez. the next one up is 2161. So we need a lot. We need so much. Put this down quickly. No, you can't have access. Go away. We need a lot more employment. Oh, I lost prestige. No. No prize in literature. Well, that makes up for it, doesn't it? So tensions in Iconian. Don't care. So over time, we're currently getting uh, anti-rationalism. After we get anti-rationalism, I suppose we should probably try to get social alienation. Ah, but there's still so many factory things we can get that's really going to improve. The thing is, what we need is we need employment, so we need more education efficiency. Um, looking okay. No unemployed craftsmen just yet. We just need a lot of people to get to get working. <laughs> and I want to start conquering back our cores from the Ottomans. No! Serb nationalists, please stop it. Oh my god. It just gets worse and worse towards the end of the game, doesn't it? Censored press, laissez-faire, interventionism, state capitalism. Uh, low subsidies. There you go. Uh, boom. There we go. Stop killing my people. Oh, also we should raise our budget. Oh my god. 25% tariffs. Hey, Norway Sweden. What's up, my friend? How you doing, buddy? And then we have a couple siege stacks here, ready to fight. Just, just sitting pretty, ready to go. Um, and then I'm also going to need to have some soldiers in Moldavia take hold. Ah, oh, man, we actually lost quite a few men. That's not good. <laughs> That's bad. Get our guys up here ready. Oh, go away. That's it. There you go. We're still also training lots of soldiers. Uh, okay, looks like it's mainly artillery. It, it's, it is mainly artillery. And we are trying to get up a couple tanks as well. As quickly as possible. Lots of tasty tanks. Um, we also... Do, do we want to get any like, Kurosars, perhaps? Wait, Dragoons are way better. Oh, man. The hell? Dragoons are just better. Oh, hell yeah. Let's get some Hungarian Dragoons. And Serbian. And Turkish. Yep. Yeah. Communist propaganda. Crackdown on the communists. And unfortunately, it looks like we're going to have to raise taxes just a smidge. Just a smidge. I'm, I have to keep the educational efficiency up as high as possible. And I wonder if maybe we could turn down social spending a little bit. Like, this is a bit much. I can only pay for so much. Gotta get, get to job, get working, alright? You don't... No handouts in this government, alright? Yeah, I probably shouldn't do any cavalry, but it just feels right to have some cavalry. The Khanate of Kiva. No, buddy. No. No. Honda Caulfield, what's up? We're just waiting until our morale is uh, hunky-dory. 
Oh man, what the hell? It I have no infantry in this army. What? All right, that's a bit better. Jesus Christ, I have literally no infantry in this army. Like seven infantry. Let's let's get this art. Let's get some of this artillery out of the way. There you go. And then we'll disband undermanned brigades. Oh, that got rid of so many of them. Ça va. Possible to do a world conquest? I think it is possible to do a... Ça va bien, by the way. It is possible to do a world conquest, but I don't think it's advised. I think it isn't great to try and attempt it. All right, let's go. Who will they call in? The Sheikdom of Kuwait and Moldavia. Everybody will accept. Acquire all cores. The Byzantine Empire. Welcome to pain. Alright, welcome to pain. This stuff is mine now. L Literary Association of Friends. Uh, oh yeah, we're not at war with Russia, are we? So I don't care. Go away. Ah, they assume leadership. You should really go into Persia to get the good of good iron. I know, but Persia's right there. Persia's so friendly with me. What do you mean the good good iron? I mean, not really much. There's like a tiny bit of iron in there, to be honest. There's more... Oh, wait, there's iron here. No, that's, that's in Armenia. That's where I'm going to get it from. In Persia, there's some cotton, but it's mainly it's coal. Do I need coal? I need coal. Of course I need coal. I always need coal. None of a... Alright, let's go here. Start rock'em sock'em roboting. Let's go. There we go. And we're just invading there. Why are they have no morale? Oh my god, they have literally no morale. What the hell? Where's their morale? Jesus. There's more coal in Persia than there is in most of your nation. Yeah, there is. The problem is, is it's in separate states. Oh, there's actually a lot of coal. But there's like no population in those states. It's literally just in Tabriz. I wonder if maybe we should just abandon them. Just, just totally and completely destroy them. And then that's a lot of coal there. I could, I could make that pretty tasty. All right, let's put these guys in half. Send these guys down. Is this worth attacking? Yes, twelfth, thirteenth. They're going to Galatia. Oh man, what the hell? Where'd you come from? Oh my god, where'd this army come from? What? Holy Jesus. Look at all those soldiers. Moving from Sphere Cross Prestige, exactly. It's not worth it. Jesus Christ. Hey. Don't attack my stuff. That's not for you. That's not for you. I'm really tired of these flashpoint tension things. They're really annoying. Ah! I'm being wounded again, but they have a minus four. Oh my god, gas attack. Why is it so low? Do they have gas attack? What? Uh, no. But, oh no, I have gas attack! Yay! <laughs> yeah, I'm invested in Persia. Persia's my ally. Persia's my bay. Oh, they're actually getting shrekt. Nice. Look at that. They are getting very much shrekt. Oh, there were some rebels. That's okay. I don't care. Just gonna siege down your capital, don't mind me. Man, they're getting destroyed. Look at that. Don't mind me. Oh, and there goes the bonus. Okay, help them out. I'm gonna have to kill the rebels for them, that sucks. I don't wanna help them. 
I want them to die. Um, I've invested quite a bit of money on them, to be honest. Oh, wait. If I invest money, does that help? Do I want to invest money in them? Ooh, I actually can't remember what investing money actually does. Foreign investment into Persia. I'm the only... No one has invested... Oh, wow. Ooh. Because if I invest, what do I get? They have more money, the more copies of goods you get. Wait, really? Victoria 2 investing. Is that what I... I didn't know that. Are you serious? Foreign investment is a very important tool. A civilization... Unless the Sphere Master is invested in it, if only the Sphere Master is invested, the entire market of the nation goes to it. If several nations invested, a fraction of the remainder goes to it. Are you joking? Oh my god, how long, how many hours do I have in this game? I didn't know that. What? Oh my god. I can't build... Invest. Invest. I have never done that. I did not know that, bro. I genuinely did not know that. Is it... It never tells you stuff. I know. Also, why can't I build railways from here? I should be able to just build railways from here. But instead, I have to go through manually. Though I suppose I can click this to do it a bit easier. There we go. Okay, that's still Persia, right? Yes. There we go. Look, I'll, I'll invest you in some of that. Even the devs know how this game works. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Okay, so, does that mean I can buy more coal? Although it wouldn't show up in my own production thing. But I'm pretty sure it means I can get- Hey, look at that, we actually won the battle. Get riggedy, riggedy wrecked. Control click to build all bovins. Oh, bollocks. That would have been smart. Oh god, is that mountains? But I have gas attacks, that's not a big deal. Being a little ridiculous now. Can you just go away? <laughs> Yay, I win again. Old canned food. <laughs> I think the problem is, of course, that I haven't actually put anything here. So I guess I should probably put some transports there or something. Uh, we don't really have any reconnaissance, do we? Here we go. Get that engineer and the siege ability. Guys, okay, just artillery. Our land. Hey, we win! Yeah! <laughs> nice. That was easy. And we're friendly with Belgium, too. Awesome. Right. Turn that down. Down goes tariffs. Spicy 5% is sufficient, I think. And just lower everyone's taxes a little bit. Make their lives a bit more pleasant. I think they've deserved... They, they've earned such freedoms. And then all you guys there. Okay, cool. And now obviously we have lots of unemployed people in the Aegean Islands. Because the AI does not know how to handle states. So the Aegean Islands is... Ah, oh, sweet, sweet, precious goods. I love it. Okay, Chios and Simios. Mytilene is wheat. Rhodes is wheat. Fruit. And fruit. Okay. I don't I don't think we need textile mills, buddy. Let's let's just get like some money. So let's just get a nice liquor distillery. And a nice spicy winery. Everyone loves the Aegean wine, right? And then a glass factory. And then we'll just close that perfect it copies their goods if you produce 40 coal and you have 104 investment you're able to buy 40 coal that's only available to you hmm i think i knew that but didn't know that do you know what i mean that's uh that makes a difference so we have to unfortunately we are in a situation now where we do have to kind of sit tight because we've got lots of little 
problem. We have some problems because we don't really have any <laughs> infamy to spare. All right, this is a nice little offensive army that we'll combine. Bum, ba -ba -da -bum, ba -da. It looks, we're looking pretty good. Socialist demagogue. All pops in middle and lose one or oh yeah sure. The upper house would go away after a while, so it's fine. Now we sit quietly again. I mean, yeah. Land gives you. Can you store a first room in this mod? No, not yet. <laughs> Thinking Syria is not a bad idea as well. I mean, the thing is, Aleppo would have to be first. So I'd have to take like. Well, actually, this is Syria, but the problem is that's where the capital is. So I can't take that. Um, and Lebanon doesn't really have anything. I mean, it has some it has some silk and stuff. It's not too bad. To be honest, what I would actually prefer is this. But, oh well, because there's a little bit of some tasty oil there. But instead, I am going to try and take, uh, in the next war, this from them. Because it has 341,000 oil and 161,000 people coal. Oh, it's got another 240,000. So being able to control a nice percentage of, coal, of oil would be super nice. Because I control quite a lot. Taking Jerusalem, yeah, but I'm not I'm not here for the memes. Who am I kidding? I'm here only for the memes. Ugly borders. Yeah, if I try to take Jerusalem, which I think is this which one is Jerus is here? Jerash. No, there it is, Jerusalem. It's wheat. I mean it's just a crab stay. It's such a crab stay, I don't want it. I wouldn't mind more Egypt, to be honest. Have I raised tanks in Egypt? Yeah, that's why I'm not. I'm not going to go down to. I'm not going to go down to them. I mean, but that would be nice. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you joking, Thessalia? To return Thessalia, one of my main states. Are you ki actually? It's quite a crap state, but absolutely not. Ooh. Okay, is this how it's gonna be? Am I gonna have to burn you to the ground? Oh, I think I am. Let's go. All right, let's let's get all the attacking boys out here. Anything that's good for attacking, we're gonna divide up. Oh, you're gonna regret your choices. 50,000, so I want to get to 100,000 with artillery. All right, there we go. There's a nice 100,000 army. Oh, you're going to regret your choices, my friend. You're going to regret it. All right, I'm going to have to start stacking up. Okay, uh, I don't think Russia's going to do much. They have militant socialists. They have militant socialists. I think this was uh, probably the best one. Oh, you want to go, buddy? You want to go, sunshine? Is anyone going to join? Oh, God. Germany is inclined to support me. Yes. It doesn't even matter. Oh, yes. All right, there's anti-rationalism. It's really good. And I do kind of wish I could get... I mean, we could get this to get some prestige. There's lots of prestige available, actually. How long would that take? It would take a full year. Oh, it's some text that I could be getting, though. Because pneumatics is really good, too. Factor through protect 10% is insane. Oh, an assembly line with Fordism. Oh, Jesus Christ. But there's also electrical power. Oh, RGO output efficiency 5%. There's so much RGO efficiency. And coal, dude. Look at the coal. I actually really do need coal. I also need railroads. Am I still building railroads? I am no longer building railroads. So I think we should probably get railroads. Let's get steel railroads. Because railroads make everything better. They seriously do. No, Siri, go away. Jesus Christ. How can I <sighs> go away, Siri. Every time I say the word serious. No, don't. Okay, good. So Germany will join me and France will join them. That's fine by me. God, they they hate me. That's a that's a fun little fight. 
So, yeah, let's get some forts ready. I think we should probably try and be defending this. Of course, it depends if Austria gives access to them. But I'd like to try and cut them off and force them to have to go a particular direction. We also need to make sure this is very well defended. And these are just siege stacks, so I don't know if I actually want to siege anything down. But we'll see. Got lots of troops. Let's just start getting ourselves ready. I mean, this is a these are beautiful mountains. There's not... I thought, I thought I did it again. There's not really a lot I have to worry about. So let's just start... Are these guys engineers? Or they are actually already engineers, which is great. Then half there. Then one there. You know, just... They're quite weak. But it's going to make a big difference. Right, so now we have a couple of salt stacks. So let, let's start taking a look at this. So what the hell are Dragoons again? <laughs> I always forget what Dragoons do. Because Dragoons are two reconnaissance. Whereas Curasars are not as much. They're 8 and 8. Whereas Dragoons are 10 and 11 with two reconnaissance. Okay. The Dragoons are just better. I don't know why I don't have that then. Let's just do this. Four. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. And then just enough artillery that it's an equal amount. Perfect. And those are a couple siege stacks, or attacking stacks. They are relief units. 50,000 men ready to pile in as necessary. Over here, what do we got? Okay, this is literally nothing but, oh god, look how many tanks there is. And just artillery. That's fine. Actually, that's fine, because I'll just divide all the artillery with, and fill it with conscripts for the defense. Oh, my Erectus has been discovered. I am ready. If you want to go, I am freaking ready, dude. Okay? I am ready. Oh, I'm ready. Okay. Five artillery up there, please. Okay, we don't need... <laughs> I don't think we need that many engineers. This has engineers. This has engineers. Okay, these guys... Those guys are, those guys are fine. Those guys are fine. These guys don't have any artillery in them. So let's just stack them up. Then we'll put some in Belgrade. Good to have units built all around, you know what I mean? Let's just check, do these guys have the tank? Okay, these guys do not have a tank. Here's another tank. Okay, and then there's some more units. Perfect. Unfortunately, if you try and divide them in half, it literally does not do it. So that'll be it for this episode, guys. Do sure leave a like and a comment on this video. Let me know what you think of the series so far. I'm going to be building my defensive line to take fight to Russia. See you next time. Bye-bye.